Right guys, to start, add your character to the scene. Uh, if it's a skin character, it should have the animator there. Just move to the side, attach a camera, and then it's going to run across the screen. So we're going to right click in the project window to create an animator controller. Then we're going to open an animator tab and add the idle state transitioning to a blend tree, which you create by right click in the animator tab. We're going to add a parameter which will control the animation switching. Then we're going to add three motions by clicking that little plus icon. We're going to add a walk anim jog and a sprint. So we'll add a transition. Uh, if the uh, speed is zero, it'll be idle. Otherwise, it'll transition to blend tree. And if uh, it gets back to zero, then it will transition out of the blend tree back to the idle. We're going to add the animator controller to the controller slot of the animator, then we're going to add a script called control. Now we'll open Visual Studio so we can see the script. It has a constant float acceleration uh, and another for speed constant, which will essentially be its top speed. Then we'll have another uh, variable. This will be a float speed, which will change as we play. It'll be, if it's zero, then we won't move at all. If it's one, we'll be moving top speed. And if it's 0 0.5, we'll be moving at 50% speed and doing a light jog. Then we also have a public animator anim, which you'll assign from your character. And this will allow it to send the speed variable to the animator to control the walk, jog, and sprint transition. Uh, every frame will check if the player is pressing the W key. If so, they'll accelerate faster. If not, they'll decelerate. Uh, speed will always be a value between 0 and 1. Uh, we'll have a line that actually moves the character and another that sends the variable to the animator. If everything's set up now, uh, the script and the animator should be working. And we can see that the blend tree does its job.